Welcome to the video Understanding Breakouts with the help of Davos Trading Strategy. So what are we doing here? I mean, I'm sure there are a lot of Davos videos. Why this? Well, here, this is the brief uh, explanation of the content that we are going to cover. The first thing that we'll do is we will understand the Davos Trading Strategy, what he did, right? Then we'll try to understand what are breakouts, how they happen. Then we'll develop and set up the Davos trading system for the markets. We'll discuss entry and exit strategies. We'll see real world examples and a few case studies. On top of that, as you progress, I'll keep telling you some advanced rich road techniques, techniques which I personally developed that I personally use, that if you like them, you may wish to inculcate in your trading system. And there are a few things uh, that are not talked about Davos people are not aware of. They just read this book, they just read the title and they go all gaga about it. But there are a few things uh, that you should know. We'll discover that as well. So this is how the video is structured. You can find the timestamps. The first section, we will try to understand Davos and his trading strategy. We'll understand uh, what was the historical background of Davos, what are his core principles that he abides by and what are the advantages and the risk his strategy offers us. The section 2 will uh, talk about the technical details of executing the trades, finding the stocks, analyzing a chart. The section 3 is all about entries and exits, going into the details. Then we have real world examples and some of the personal techniques that I want to share. So let's begin with the section 1 of the video. So this is what I've found on Wikipedia about Nicholas Davos. We don't want to get into a lot of details, but there is a key thing that you should not miss. That is really important. So you may read about him, who he was, uh, where was he born, all the general stuff. The part that you should be focused upon is this here, investor. I'll read it for you. During his off hours as a dancer, he had read some 200 books on the market and on speculators sometimes reading up to 8 hours a day. Can you imagine that? Now just think about it. The person who wrote this book that we are going to discuss, how I made money in the market, that person before writing that book read around 200 books and again that is again a very speculative number, that's an assumption. I'm sure this would have been much more than that. Apart from the books, so there would have been a lot of magazines as well, a lot of journals which were really popular back in those days. And he was reading books up to 8 hours a day. And mind you, that was the age where there was no internet. Right? The books are not that easily available. Despite of that, he went on to read a lot of books. There are a few books mentioned here from that time. You can see that. So what's the point of discussing this? The point of discussing this is, a lot of people watch YouTube videos about Davos, read the book, are all praise about it. What they miss is, when they go on, implement these strategies in the markets, they feel that there is some gap. Either they are not able to grasp the content as they should, or there is something missing, there is something wrong. In search of that, they go onto YouTube, looking for the videos, explanations on Twitter. On social media, they basically hope. What I'm trying to say is, get the perspective. That person read somewhere around 200 books, dedicated 8 hours a single day reading the books, and he read a lot of different type of books. He read about investments. He probably read about a lot of fundamentals, then technicals, investing, trading, a lot of different things. So because of which what happened is his perspective developed. And because of that perspective, he was able to write that book and make that much amount of money. But what we do is we simply go buy that book, try to implement. We just copy paste everything that has been written over there and expect for similar results. Obviously, that will not happen because you miss the perspective. So what I'm trying to say here is, whatever the learnings in we are going to cover in this video or the author has given you in the book, try to first develop your perspective, then approach. It will be much more helpful. Also, notice one thing, you probably would have heard this, that he turned $36,000 investment into $2.25 million in 3 to 5 years. Now see, just adjust these figures with inflation and the money that he had, he started with is $36,000 in 1950, which is worth 
four hundred, four fifty thousand dollars. That's a huge sum of money to start with. Today, the value would have been around twenty six million. That's huge, right? So the point is, he started well. He was not a person who came to the markets with thousand dollars or five hundred dollars or one lakh rupees or fifty thousand. Are expected to turn into right crore rupees. I'm sure you would have heard these stories, but just be sure that people like Nicholas Davos started off well. They had a good background. So let's discuss what were his core core principles. So see, uh, I'll just try to summarize. Uh, you can get this PPT from the description box. The first thing his uh, principle was he identified boxes, which was named as Davos boxes. We'll go into a lot of detail as the video progresses. Then there was uh, the execution part was buy on breakout. Then there was a volume confirmation. So always know that volume is an indicator that you are using, right? So what it means is Darvas was open to using indicators for confirmations. That is important. That is the message the book is trying to tell you. He used something called as a trailing stop loss system. Okay, so that tells us something about the management. And he did continuous monitoring. He regularly monitored monitored his selected stocks, adjusting strategies and stop loss orders as needed to stay responsive to changing market conditions. This is a very crucial. We'll discuss that. Also, what is important is uh, please note that he primarily traded in the nineteen fifties, and he traded when the markets were bullish, when the markets were in a great deal of momentum. That's when he made the major chunk. Of his money, so always keep this thing in mind that if you're trying to replicate his strategy in whatever way, on whatever time frame, whatever instrument of trading, be assured of this: that he only traded when the market was bullish. So there is a bit of constraint going towards Davos. So what were the advantages of having these core principles and leading Davos? The first thing is the system was simple. And there was a systematic approach. What simple means is that you have clarity on what you are doing, right? It, the Davos boxes helps you identify the trading ranges, focus on breakouts, making the method accessible to traders with varying levels of experience. Pretty simple, as you'll see. And there was emphasis on technical analysis. That this is really important. Whoever you are, he relied heavily on technical analysis. Particularly on price and volume, and rather than you know solely dependent on uh, fundamental analysis, he was somebody who preferred a lot more data towards his uh, side. Then there was something called as risk management through stop loss. Okay, so what he tried to do was uh, protect his profits and limit the potential losses. That is the basic idea, basic goal. There was adaptability to trends. So this is important. The strategy is designed to capture and ride the trend. This is really, really important. Why is that? We'll see that. But this is important. The word is riding the trends and capturing them. And the fifth point is focus on volatility. That is important. He actively sought out stocks with volatility. You know what is volatility? As indicated by significant price movements and trading volume. Now you will say that why is this important? When I'll share a scanner with you in this technical scanner, this point about focusing on volatility will come really handy to you, right? Through through this, what you are learning is how to dissect a book, how to dissect an author, and how to go on to make it really practical for you. But is that all about this? Well, uh, there were a few risks and challenges associated. I'll tell you that about Davos. A lot of people don't know this. There were allegations of insider trading on Darvas, that he had some access to non-public information that were influencing his trading decisions on top of whatever technical stuff that he was doing. Now again, these claims are are unproven; they are speculative, but the claims were made. So we'll just keep this in mind. And Darvas had a preference for trading low-price stocks called as penny stocks. Now you definitely would have heard people alarming you about penny stocks and all that, but he traded penny stocks. And even if you see the Indian markets, the penny stocks can easily give you 
returns in the multiple of 100. They'll give you 300% returns, 500% returns. There are a lot of names doing that. And Davos, back in those days, was exactly doing this. Although, there is a lot of risk involved with penny stocks because they have manipulation in them, they will not have liquidity, and they will have a lot of large price swings. So this is uh, important. Now, here's the third point, which is important, which is probably why you are here. Complexity of implementation. See, your strategy might be pretty simple, right? Somebody might say that, this buy above the breakout. But the thing is, as soon as you do it, on paper, everything looks very convincing, pretty simple. But when you start to do that on the paper, everything falls apart. Why is that? It's because there is no focus on developing execution skill in the traders. Traders try to get good with, uh, I would say, pattern recognition, learning things, or, you know, they say, practice one setup for like, how many times and all that. That is exactly what is leading to trouble here. Because breakouts can be tricky. And there is a video which you are seeing currently on your screen. You can watch this video. This will really help you understand the breakouts because this Davos video itself is going to be a bit long. So I'm, I'll not be going into a lot of details on specific of the breakouts, but make sure you watch this video. You will definitely elevate your understanding about the breakouts. So now we have covered the core principles, the advantages and the risks associated with Davos. Let's head towards uh, section 2. Here we will learn the technical aspects, that is identifying the Davos boxes, how do we analyze volumes and how will we select the stocks, how will we scan for those. So let's get into it. So the first thing, I hope you are very, very clear. We'll get into the detail of this. We have a lot of thoughts to share with you. So the first two things I'll tell you, the first two points I'll discuss, is the Davas box method. It was pretty simple. What you will do is you will form boxes by drawing horizontal lines to encapsulate stock price movements within a specific trading range. Davas looked for stocks that were trading in a narrow range or consolidation. You can call it the box. So that is the aspect of scanning a stock or what to look for. Then the execution part is buy on breakout. Davas would initiate a trade when the stock's price broke out of the established box to the upside. This is important. How do you establish a box, right? There will be this question going in your head. We'll see that as we move forward. Okay. And the idea was to buy as the stock's price crossed a certain threshold. Well, what is that exactly? That is what we are going to discuss. So now we are discussing the box strategy Davas gave you. Pretty simple, right? Simple three steps are written, although there is a lot in them to explore. The first thing that you have to do is you have to select a time frame you want to trade on. That can be a monthly time frame, that can be a weekly time frame, or a daily time frame. I'll advise you to stick to daily. That is going to give you the best results for selecting the stocks. For executing also, I'll say stick to daily. For managing the trade, I'll tell you to go towards weekly or monthly. I'll explain this as we move forward. The second point, the second thing that you have to do is you have to look for strong green candles with high volumes. What do I mean by that? What is a strong green candle? I'll explain that through a whiteboard in just a minute. But just have a look at these candles that I've shown through the arrows. Look the nature of this candle. The candle is almost closing at near its high. The candle opened near its low, right? And relatively, if you see on the left-hand side, this candle is the biggest and the volumes are amazing. That is what you have to look for. You don't have to be too pedantic about the candles, you know. Don't get into too nitty-gritty about those. But the candles should look good relative to the red candles in the chart. That is the thing. The third point, which is very important, is look for the uptrend. What do I mean by that? And why is it important? We'll go into detail, but for now, just know that if you're trading on daily time frame, you're selecting a stock on daily time frame, there has to be an uptrend, at least on the weekly time frame. Hear me correctly. What I said, if you're selecting stock on daily time frame, if you're trading a stock on the daily time frame, make sure at least 
that your weekly time frame should be in a proper uptrend. If daily is, that's good. But in a lot of cases, you will see when the best time to buy is there. We'll see in the execution part, when the best time is to buy, the daily chart will not be in an established uptrend. And if you go looking at the uptrend on the daily, you will miss out a lot of opportunities. So what you have to do is at least look for uptrend in the weekly if you're trading on daily. I hope you're pretty clear with that. Now you'll be thinking that how do we draw these boxes and what is the importance? How do we do that? I'll explain. So here is a detailed chart for you with a lot of points. So the first point here is, see, what you have to do is identify those good candles, good up moves. Here I can clearly see that we had a good, good up move, pretty solid up move, right? The stock went from 7.5 to almost 12. That is a big move. That is a huge move. So you have to select the highest point made by the up move, the point from where the stock started to start its down move. This is where it started. So we mark that point. Then what we have to do is we have to select the last po lowest point made before the breakout happened. What do I mean by that? See, when this candle formed, right, what was happening is all the candles were forming lower lows. But after this candle, you started to form no lower lows. This low was protected and you, see, you can see it entirely. So you mark this area. You mark this low point. Now this highest point, this lowest point. They give you what? Two horizontal lines, one on top, one on bottom. So your job is to make a box around it. And your job is done. Now that box has been made. So the first point of identifying or making a Davas box is done. Pretty simple. Then see, there are around three Davas boxes I've shown you. And they all qualify for it. How is that? Let's see. So the first Davas box is the pretty obvious one that you see here. The biggest one is your first. What is important here is very important that while you are within a box, while you are within a range, take note of the volumes when the price is moving up. The volumes will be higher than the average or at least that should be the case. You can clearly see at this point, the volumes are high, the price is going up. The price is going down or sideways, the volumes are dropping off. Price tries to go up again, the volumes are less. And if you have seen my breakout video, you will understand what these candles mean. True. Again, same thing happened here. The price tried to move up, came back down, but the volumes were really nice. If you have seen the video, you will understand. The same thing happened here. And then see what happened. The price came to the lowest point which we marked here. Price came here and gave you an up move right from this exact point. See the importance of marking this area? I call this demand candle. That is what we call in my academy. The demand candle. Okay. And exactly there another demand candle was formed. What happened after that? You again went into a good up move. Compared to these up moves, this was the up move that was pretty good. Then there are concepts of relativity that you have to understand. So if you are watching it from the perspective of the academy, you will understand what I'm trying to say to her. That why this box is of importance and none of them are. What happened after that? Well, there was an up move. The volumes were pretty brilliant and you will understand what these candles mean. The stock started to again start its down move. The highest point is marked here and the lowest point was marked with this candle because after this, no lower low was formed. Correct? And you got a move. And this breakout candle led to the breakout of box number 2 and the box number 1 as well. Then what happened? Again, there was a consolidation. You marked the highest point. Then what happened? There was a down move of two candles and after that an up move came. Which meant that there is a low form. So you mark that low. And once you mark that, see how beautifully Another latest lowest point was formed here, after which there was a breakout. Pretty amazing. Now the question is, the boxes are drawn and the scan I'm going to give you in this video, where will it help you identify the stock? That is an important question. I'll tell you. You will be able to identify the stock on this day, 
or on this day or on this day or even here that is the power the stock scanner is going to give you you will be not wasting a lot of time you will be getting in right in there right in time so this is basically how you draw these boxes and how these things work now let's have a look at the uh, stock selection as well so you see here the daily percent change uh, should be greater than or equal to number 3 that is important that there should be an up move 3 percent up move is what i consider as bare minimum you may have any other number you wish to but i would say stick to this then there are a couple of volume filters the first one is uh, the latest volume should be greater than equal to the average volumes for the past 30 days right understood nothing much to explain then there is this liquidity or filter i would say kind of very basic but does the job the 150 ema should be greater than 200 ema the 50 ema should be greater than 150 ema again why is that to just get the idea of a trend in this stock that there is a good daily close should be greater than number 20 see most of the stocks that are priced below 20 are illiquid out of 100 only you will find five trading names and whenever you find those stocks just keep them in your watch list don't need to scan for them the important thing here is the daily close should be greater than or equal to one day ago maximum of the previous 30 days high this basically signifies that a stock has come out of a range correct the stock has come out of a range that is what is the significance what you can do here is you see this close here you can make this close as your high that the latest daily high is greater than or equal to the one day ago maximum past 30 days high that is whatever the high in the last 30 days the maximum has been made today at least if it did not close there'll be a higher high and same thing you can make this high as well here how does it help me just go back and see these are the days if you see this is high higher than this really correct but the close is below so if you run the scan on this day you are not going to get the stock why the closing is not same thing if you run the stock on this day the volumes are there the close is less than this right but the high is more than that so that is a modification you can do it right you will get the stock exactly on this day and that will make your life simple because after that all you have to do is wait for the stock to give you the highest point and let the stock go into a down move once that has happened this mark the high then wait for a stock to give you a candle which will serve as a demand candle which means the low of the candle will be protected once you have seen that mark the low and start your trading how to do that we'll go and see in the video so i hope this uh, is pretty clear the stock selection right so we have seen how to draw box how to identify what are the small details that you have to look inside the range how to plot the range and how to select the stock now let's move towards the section 3 which is where the real deal is if you are still here watching the video then you are going to get the maximum value because this is the thing that really differentiates mere identifying the stock keeping it in watch list or running scans is not going to make you money the difference is in execution so it is about entering a trade managing the trade and then finally exiting it that is what we are going to discuss and we will be using a lot of whiteboard here so the first point is entry points according to davos it's pretty simple he kept it pretty simple the entry was about what above the breakout point the highest high that is where you will simply place your buy orders but there is one thing i'm sure have happened with you before and still happen and you are not sure why they happen and what to do in that case what exactly is that let's go on to the whiteboard and see that okay so let's see how the price moves and what happens see the simple is uh, what davas will do is the price will move up then it will make the highest point then it will make this and the price will basically be in a range after making this low and then this is how the price will go up well according to davas it's uh, pretty simple to operate why 
what he will advise you if the stock selection is good you will simply place your buy order here you will enter at this price level and the stop loss level is going to be somewhere here so this is your sl and then you know the price will simply keep doing this it will keep forming the range and you will keep taking the entries this is what ideally will happen with you and you would expect the market to do but sometimes what happens is this and what is that price goes up hits this goes up and you think okay the price is broken out let me just buy it here and then what happens is price does this i'm sure this would have happened with you if you tried to follow davas even if you didn't tell uh, this is something that would have happened with you and then this will happen then again this will happen and then finally a move will come like this but what happens is by the time this move comes you are mentally exhausted with this stock you just don't want more of these things happening to you why do these happens and how can i safeguard myself if these happen at all right so this is where the importance comes first of all the thing is the strategy is pretty simple the second thing is trend your objective is to ride the trend as much as you can do how do we define trends pretty basic uh, definition higher highs and higher lows so let's say you decide to buy a stock which is an uptrend here you decide to buy it right this is the entry level even if the stock does this you are not supposed to sell according to the definitions that we have learned you are not why because your template your core principle is of trend and still this low is protected till that point you have no reason to sell the stocks and this is where a lot of people get stuck in they don't understand the essence the davas was operating on it was the trend so even if this happens you have to be okay with that right that is the stock can very well do this again the trend will be there the prices will keep going up but you will uh, you know think that the stock faded or there is this thing called a squatted and all that these things have really ruined you because you have a clouded perception if the davas will see this well this is pretty much fine this is absolutely okay to happen in the stock you have to understand this and here this thing happened only the price went up but the lows are always protected and if you are having a strategy which is based on the trend then you have to deal with this you have to be fine with that there is no other way and what about this here your last low was definitely broken so what about this well there is this concept of relativity that i teach in the academy that really helps you it takes a lot of time to get the grasp of it but once you get it you will understand it you will get it so if you are clear with that it's pretty going to be good but again is there any other way that we can deal with this that we can actually not be in losses here or get more profits out of this system well there is definitely is so according to davas this is what you are supposed to do buy up the high of the range the low of the range will be your sl and keep repeating this process as long as the lows are protected let's say you bought her right you entered the stock here this will be your sl once this breakout has happened this sl will move here once this breakout has happened here this sl will move here once you have broken out here this goes here this is basically what he meant by trailing your sl this is the method that you are supposed to do is there any better way well if you are watching this channel the last video that will really help you because there i've talked about a few personal techniques that i use to ride the trends and all that if you need to do so please do check out that video you'll get more detailed explanation but the still the question is uh, how do i deal with these answer is pretty simple so let's walk walk through with me there'll be a stock which will give you a good candle one day it'll give you a good move right 
and then let's say from here onwards the stock started its down move it started going down right what you will do is you will mark this highest point okay now what will happen is the stock will keep falling down like this and some day probably a candle like this will be made after which you will have a good candle again then again you will consolidate like this you will mark this point now according to davas what you would do buy around this sl here pretty simple that is what you are going to do okay so if you are clear about these candles i have shown you the candles should be good the volume and confirmation should be there there should be uptrend on at least weekly i'll tell you on the charts why i'm saying that when we take the case studies but okay here see me out. what will happen is there will come a candle which would probably look like this again and then again you will have a down moves like this then some day what will happen is there will be a candle which will look like this and will give you a consolidation right now focus that whatever you did here if i just focus on this area can i also say that uh, this also qualifies for a darvas box if i only take these three candles how is that well you mark the highest point you mark the lowest point here that is a darvas box within a darvas box i can say that okay so how does it help me well your scanner will give you the candle the stock here on this candle it will pop up in your scan what you will do is if the candle is good and what is a good candle the breakout video will help you here you will mark this and you can start entering the stock here at this level instead of this with your sl here how does it help you pretty simple again you will get a good amount of quantity and let's say the stock does this it breaks out and your entry is here what is happening is your sl is smaller your entry is here by the time price is here this to margin that a person a bought here person a bought here he is in profits of let's say 3% you person b bought here you will be in profits of let's say 8% that is almost a difference of 5% and this 5% is going to be your edge in the markets this is the true edge and why is that because let's say something happens that the stock you know gives you a candle like this and the very next day it falls pretty bad like this on this day on this day the person a is going to be in a negative uh profit and loss it's going to be in a loss the holdings is going to show a negative amount that will hurt him because once he was in plus 3 now he is in minus 2 here what about the person b is he in negative he is not in negative in fact despite stock doing this he will be in some amount of profits he'll be probably in plus 2% that is the edge now here you can take a choice according to your analysis whatever technical analysis you know whatever your strategy is whether you still want to be in the trade or not because according to davas you have to be in trade because this is the last low you may change it now what will happen is this 2% is going to allow you to be a little relaxed to see how the stock does because this guy minus 2% guy is going to be anxious i know you are anxious i know people get anxious right while the stock might just consolidate here and this guy will think that a okay currently it's in minus 2 percent it might go down till here which will lead to minus 5 percent or so it's better to get out here while the b person will say okay i'm still in plus 2 percent i can give it some more room all right and then what can happen is the stock might give you a big green candle here the a person is going to regret it a lot the b person is like okay this is what has happened why is that the analysis was the same scanning was the same probably he the a person got the stock in these candles stock was same everything was same the chart was same the time frame was same the difference is in perception how you approach things 
the B person had a better perception which gave him the edge that people look for. So the edge is your, how you manage things, how you execute things. And this is how you go. These kind of things will keep happening in the world. Also one more thing. Let's say there is a stop, gives you an up move. And then it goes into a long range, right? You will do what? You watch this video and within this range here, you know, the range here, you saw this happening, okay? Here. So you did what? A buy because uh, you will say, this is what a rich road has taught us. And the next day, let's say, the stock goes down 20%. And the next day, it goes down 20%. And the next day, it goes down 20%. You will be like, what has happened? There was trend on daily. Check. There was uh, good green candles, good buying candles. You bought at right place and you still had loss while the person, A person who was waiting to buy her, well, he never got his order triggered, so he's happy, he's laughing at you. Do you have an answer? Well, yes. And this is something I'm sure would have happened with a lot of people that the ranges they buy in, they do not break out on the upside, rather they do this. Why? If you remember in this video, a few minutes ago, I said that if you are trading on daily time frame, check trend on at least weekly time frame. Why? I'll explain. Cut the screen here in two parts. Let's say there is a weekly here. Let's say there is a daily here. Correct? Let's say that the weekly chart looks like this. Okay. So, I ask you, what is the trend on weekly? The trend on weekly is uh, down. Okay. Now, if I see on the daily chart, how would the daily chart look like if I just see this entire area? The daily chart will look like to you. This is what the daily is going to look like of this weekly. What is the trend? Most of the people are going to say it is up. And they'll give all the reasons to justify buying the stock here. They don't realize this fact. And then the prices will do this because this will happen. You are in downtrend. Now just take another case here. Divide the screen in two parts. We have weekly here. And the weekly is looking like this or like this, right? How would the daily be? Well, the daily would be amazing. So the trend is up. The trend is up here. You draw it and you will see this happening. Why? Because this is how the weekly was. Now, if I just see this daily and this, everything inside the range in these two daily charts might happen the same. The reason for your failure will be here. That you did not know this thing. That is what I just wanted to tell you. If you can just make this filter, your life is going to be much, much easier. Another thing I'll tell you. Let's say that my weekly is like this. Here you are. Okay. How would the daily look like? The daily would be like this. Same range. What the daily might do is, you will be the happiest person here. The trade has worked well, right? And the weekly will be like this. Suddenly you will see this happen. What happened? Was there any trend on the weekly? There was no, it was a range. And nothing happened. The weekly did what it has been doing previously. So how will you decide to trade here? This is what makes the difference. If you are pretty clear on this point that I've given you, you know, 
something, a technique that I'm telling you. If you just combine this technique with the Davas, you're going to do really, really well. Again, all the videos that are being made on the Rich Road, they are not to be watched standalone. They are just not individual videos. You have to watch the other videos. The important videos are linked. They will really help you in the execution part, management and exiting a trade. So now let's talk about the management and exiting a trade. How do we do that? But I think now we have seen a lot of drawings. I think we should go to the charts and see those. Okay, so we are on the chart of PCBL and why are we here? This is the weekly chart. So let's see what we will do. We see the stock and we see the stock is in an uptrend. I hope you can see that. Um, I'll draw it. So yeah, we have an uptrend here. Pretty much visible. Till this point, right? Help me draw a box. How will you draw a box? If I take this entire screen, what is the highest point on your screen right now? I believe this at this point. What is the lowest one? This is. And you just mark this area. Okay. What do we do then? We see this area and we see this is also the highest point coinciding with this area. So what Davos will do, he'll simply place his buy orders here. And the latest low that was made, that will be his stop loss, which will be this. So there was a candle here, which triggered you in. And after that, a long time was spent down. But again, the trend is still up. So we'll have to stay in the stop. And then what will happen is the prices will go up. Then there are other Davas boxes you can draw. Again, what is the highest high here? This one. What is the lowest low? This one, right? So this becomes another box. Same thing happens here. This is the highest high. This is the lowest low. The low of this candle is protected. Another box. Same thing here. And again, same thing here. So you see how Dawa's boxes help you here. A lot of Dawa's boxes were formed. So this was on the weekly. But hear me out. Here on weekly, if you see, the SLs are going to be a little bigger. Now again, big SLs and all these things are pretty relative things. Where I use the word big or small, they are very relative, what you are comparing to. If you take this SL, this is almost a 30% stop loss. If you take this as a SL, this is almost 15%. If you take this, comes around 11%. This one comes around uh, 13%. And this one is coming around 15%, right? They are stop losses of the weekly chart. Let's do one thing. Let's see the daily of these boxes. And let's try to figure out a few things. Right? Whatever I've taught you, keep that in mind. Okay. So this was a huge range that we had. Now just see, within this range, right when you were trying to break out, what happened? Look at these candles. Look at the volumes. More than the average. And the candles are good. 4% up. The scanner will definitely give you this stock here. You see on the left hand side, you are within this big range. What you can do is then mark the highest point. And then this was the candle that was marked. The low was not broken. What you will do is you will place your entry here. I'm using Dawa's boxes only. How much stop loss? It's 4%. It's a 4% stop loss allowed. Again, the same thing happened here. One more Dawa's box. The highest point. The lowest point. What do you do? Pretty simple. Entry here. SL here. 3% SL this time. So basically, after these good candles, you can keep repeating this process. And keep taking entries. Multiple entries that are being uh, offered to you. You take this entry here as well. Then this is the highest point and the lowest point. You take the entry here as well. Now here the candles are not good, so I'm not going to mark. So the boxes are going to be marked only after a good candle has been made, leading to the up move. And that's what you did. That's what you did here. Right? Now see the important thing. The question to you is, you will say that, okay, whatever you have taught, I would have marked this high area 
on this low area and i would have taken my entry here that would have probably resulted into a loss what happened here then it's pretty simple the answer is relativity correct the relativity was in not in check so this is not a darvas box that you need to trade this is a darvas box that you need to avoid okay after that what happened see this here the new high was made here if you count back 30 days this is a new high that was made the percent change although was only 2.40% it will not come in your scan what happens on this day person changes 2.86% doesn't come in your scan what should i do that is a problem is that a problem not really there are ways around it what are the ways around it see if a stock is giving you a candle like this on volumes like this that has to stay in your watch list you should not be making and running scans every other single day especially these kind of scans where there are a lot of filters there are a lot of restrictions and this is one of a start scan where there are restrictions what are those restrictions where we are dealing with 30 day high you know the high should cross the close should cross this is a bit restrictive i personally don't use that i'll tell you also not to do that instead wherever these kind of stocks which are in uptrend weekly and daily are coming into your scanner keep them in a watch list and just watch those stocks for candles like this and volumes like this then definitely if you see the davas box here if you draw it here you will get the idea and you can easily take your entries in this area and easily trade these it's as simple as it can be and the same thing happened here again see this candle 3.85 percent no new high was made no new closing is made so that is one thing that you need to be aware of but the volumes are good and if you mark the highest point of this candle you will see that you had a clear opportunity to go long here to participate in this entire rally i think that's a super way to trade same thing happened here the stock is in your watch list from here onwards right 6.70 percent up a new high has been made let's say you miss the stock rally till here but here the stock will come in your scan you can check it 3rd october 2023 new high was made 6% drop the volumes are good now what is your job simply wait for the stock to give you the highest point it gave you here wait for the lowest point it gave you here now within that look for good looking green candles with volumes higher than that and if you see this was one 4.67% drop the volumes are more than the ones around it what do you do mark the highest point mark the lowest point start taking trades if you did not take entry here well this was a new high 4% up the volumes are high what do you do mark the highest point mark the lowest point take your entries start trading doesn't get better than that right let's say you miss this entire daily then what will happen the stock will come into your scan here and even here what will happen is we'll wait for the highest point here you have the highest point so i'll simply mark that wait for the lowest this was the lowest within that what are we looking for a candle like this see pretty good volumes are nice mark the highest point after that mark the lowest point and start taking your entries look at this candle what is this the breakout video will explain this to you and you could have traded it now the same thing will happen again well again if you know relativity it's not going to be as simple i think that you might get a big range here after that you get if you want the stock will go up again let's see one more case study and this will emphasizes the point that i said is that always look for trend on at least weekly if not on daily why is that i'll tell you see this is a chart of arvin if anybody comes with this chart anywhere here i think you would not be interested in buying why is that because if you see on the left hand side you will see that well you will counter me that there was a buying opportunity here see what happened after that right if you go by this you make the davas box you take your entry here this is what you were up faced with 
but there was something which was different here if you did dawas here you got massive profits you would have been in massive profits this was what 90 rupees and now it is in almost 300s giving you returns of 200% in relatively short a period of time so what's so special here and what's not so special here? that is the question you should be able to answer if you don't have an answer and you just say that well this is how the markets operate i'm sorry sustainable trading is going to be difficult for you so let's go deep into it let's try to understand what happened here let's remove these dawas boxes so yeah at this point if i see the trend was definitely down even here in the daily is that true that is definitely true okay but what is the point i've given you is of the weekly if you go on see the weekly ha huh, you will see something happening here and what is that that my trend on the weekly was actually uptrend and in much better situation fine let's start drawing the dawas boxes what will happen then on the weekly if you draw the dawas box this is what you are presented with this is the lowest point after which the price turned up and see the behavior exactly at this low point and i've always told you that demand and supply are never a single line they are zones they are zones now once you have drawn this dawas box at this point you know the breakout happened now you go to the daily and see what happened what happened here this move or this point was the first time this low was established after that this is the second time the price did this what is the importance well if you will observe the big consolidations the big ranges will frequently test your support and resistance zones this was just the establishment and this was the testing it tested gave you good moves and after that it gave you this box the highest point and the lowest point easy to do while the weekly darwas box hasn't broken out so you will simply do the same things here looks pretty simple pretty easy right and you can simply keep doing this you see this look at this candle take your entries about this then again another darwas box was formed here see what happened to it now what people will do is they will say they will buy her and they will keep their stop loss here and then they will question what happened now this ate my stop loss the problem is relativity that is what king did and again gave you this but even if you miss the stock is going to come again here in your scan it gives you a box again and the trend simply kept on going on so this is the power of this video that i've explained to you that even before if you were trading on a weekly you had your entries in these areas and daily this was the condition and this is why this worked this is why this never worked it was simply the establishment of the support zone so in such a big range and such a big consolidation if the price is coming the second time or the third time to simply test the support what is the problem where is the harm right and see the character of the candle here that is also one thing there is a element of long long wick here that was absolutely absent here. that also makes a difference now the question is how do i manage my trade can we understand uh, this through here because see what a lot of people would have done they would have bought her sold her bought her sold her bought her sold her and never cared you know to hold the stock what gives you the idea that the stock is going to go for no the answer is in decide on a time frame to trade on what do i mean by that it's pretty simple look where the best darwas box is there the best darwas box are going to be small hmm interesting 
which in this case was on the time frame of monthly. And even if you go to a much higher time frame, that is a three month, you will get, I think, a better answer. If you check six month, there's the Dawa's box. This is the Dawa's box. How much did the stock move before this? 4,000%. Mind you, from 2009 to 2017. 10 years. Can something similar happen? Very well something similar can happen with this stock. Don't be surprised if you see 1000 or 3000 with this stock. Don't be surprised. But again, where did the move start? 23. That might happen here. 2033. But that can absolute. So whenever you are scanning for the stock and you see the daily time is like this, you know, the daily time frame, whatever time frame you are trading on or scanning on and you see that, always check the weekly and the monthly where they are. If they themselves are in the Darwa's box, and if you are buying within the Darwa's box of a monthly on daily, then you know that you can hold the stock for a long, long period of time. Why? Because the Darwa's box is ha happening actually on the monthly, not on your daily. Daily is just giving you opportunities to participate. I hope that is point is clear in your head, because if that point is clear in your head, it's going to be pretty simple for you. Okay, let's take a few more examples. Then wrap. we'll uh, close this video out. Let's see the example of BSC. This is the monthly time frame, right? Let's draw the Davos box. Do we have a box? Okay, we have this. Now let's go into the weekly or let's go into the daily. We'll see what happened. Pretty similar to Arvind. Look at these candles. And if you're not convinced by them, leave them. No worries. Look what happened after that. There was a Dawa's box here. If you were not convinced by it, there was a Dawa's box here. Which gave you good opportunities. This was the demand candle. After that, what? Everything was inside. You could have bought here. Look at these candles. The stock will come in your scam here and here. And while the stock came in your scam here, be aware that this big green box is a Monthly Darwa's box. Which means you can hold the stock for a really long period of time. Because till the high of this, the monthly Darwa's box is not even activated. What will happen after it activates? See yourself. See and observe. This cluster came exactly here. See the movement 9%, 5%, 5% back to back. Why is it happening exactly here? Why there was a box exactly here? It was the high of the monthly Darwas box. And you started buying here, mind you. And you were here clear what you are looking for. Why? Because there was a Darwas box on the monthly, which means it can go on for months. And the stock did exactly that. Right? So I hope this has given you great insights into managing a trade, exiting a trade, entering a trade especially and make sure you couple this video up with the other videos that have been posted i've linked those videos down in the description because if you watch these videos in conjunction and together you are going to be a massive success in the markets you will get a lot of clarity at absolute no cost all you need is focus and dedication to rich road if you can give us that i'll make you a trader for free of cost trust me we covered a lot of great things in the video relating to the Dawas and the breakouts, the candles you need to focus upon, how to enter, how to exit, how to manage them. Make sure that you watch these videos. The first one is about the breakouts. The second one is about the strategy of Mark Minivini. You know, I've published the video recently. If you watch these couple of videos together along with this one, I'm sure you're going to get a lot out of this. And please do check it out on these social handles and do join us in the public telegram group. You will find amazing case studies over there, a lot of detailed PDF that will complement your understanding of this video even more. I'll see you later in the next video.